Santa Fe, New Mexico is a U.S. city blending influences of several cultures. At its heart, near the plaza, is the beautiful Cathedral Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi. Many artists have attempted to capture it in paint. Today we learn news and history of the cathedral from Father Mark. Uh, my name is Mark. I'm a docent here at the uh, Cathedral Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about the history of the cathedral. The main altar is the, the site of the first church, and it was built in 1610. This is the oldest Catholic parish in the United States. Uh, it lasted for about 25 years, and then in, uh, the second church was built about 1640 by the same uh, uh, parishioners. The church lasted until about 1680, and then the uh, Pueblo Indian Uprising occurred. They proceeded to slaughter, unfortunately, all of the Franciscans here, and then drove the Spaniards down, who then founded El Paso, uh, a good two, three hundred miles south of here. They stayed there for 12 years, and the Pueblo Indians then sued for peace. Uh, the Spaniards then came back with a new batch of missionaries, and they proceeded to build the third church. Uh, the third church, the wing of which is uh, still is here in the cathedral, and it's up on the extreme left-hand side of the cathedral. It was completed in 1715, and what's particularly noteworthy about it is the uh, inscriptions, etchings that are done in the wood, which is ponderosa pine. Uh, you'll see it, uh, uh, a repetitive uh, cycle of Pueblo Indian designs with a, as a sunburst and also a flower which uh, the Pueblo Indian sunburst represents them, the flower represents Catholic Spain. But the whole idea is that it, the church represented a reconciliation between the Spanish settlers and the Pueblo Indians. The church lasted, uh, was in the form of a cross, and uh, it lasted until 1840 when they built the fourth church. The fourth church was the last of the five that was in the Pueblo style. And the, um, it uh, occupied the, the area right in between the pillars that we see here in the cathedral. Uh, and so they left the wing up in honor of the Madonna, the shrine uh, that was there in La Conquistadora. The statue dates back to 1625 and originally came from Mexico City. But it also had a 200-year history prior to that in Spain, where the legend is that she led the Spanish army, uh, driving the Moors out of Spain in 1492. Nevertheless, she's been here since 1625, with the exception of the Indian Uprising. Um, the fourth church, like I said, lasted from 1840 to 1869, when the first bishop uh, was appointed by the Vatican. Uh, this was after the Mexican-American War, and so as not to excite the Mexicans, the Spaniards, or the Americans, uh, they appointed a Frenchman, and his name was Jean-Baptiste Lamy. Uh, he brought over a French architect with him, and Italian artisans. Uh, the French architect designed the church we're looking at right now. It's classical French Gothic. And the uh, Italian artisans were the ones that uh, stopped by Assisi, Francis's hometown, and took stencils. And the stencils they took with them, they applied to the roof that's here and to the detail work. So we have almost an identical replica of the, type of the church in Assisi on our ceiling as well. All the stained glass is original to the first bishop's hometown in Claymont, France. The uh, stained glass was forged in uh, southern France. It was then disassembled, packed up, sent over here, and then installed. Uh, the reason why it looks so fresh and clean is, is that it was uh, professionally cleaned in 2009. Uh, the renovations on the church began on the 100th anniversary in the 1990s and it's uh, accountable for the artwork we see behind the altar as well, as well as the new stations of the cross.
the baptistry was placed in the center of the church uh, as part of the renovation, but in doing so, they found that that was the site of the original plaza 400 years ago. And the first church was where we all come in right now. And where we're standing here at the entrance of the church, they discovered as they were doing the plumbing, that this was the site of the first cemetery. It goes down 20 feet and there's three layers. The remains of those settlers remain untouched. And basically because this is hallowed ground and they rested in peace, we hope. Um, that pretty much is a summary of the church. Thank you so much. Thank you.